A short video here to give you some numbers, probabilities really, that if you remember, could save your life someday. I'm sure you saw this news report over the weekend of a Cessna 172 that crash landed on a bridge in the Miami area. You know, as GA accidents go, this is run of the mill. A single fatality and some injuries. This happens 200 times a year in the U.S. The only reason it made the evening news was because it was a slow news Saturday and plane hits car is like man bites dog. Video at 11. The short summary is that a Cessna 172 took off from North Perry, that's just north of Miami, en route along the coast to Key West. A beam of North Miami, the engine apparently quit. The pilot made a 180 degree turn and eventually landed on the Hallover Inlet Bridge. In the process, it struck an SUV, the airplane flipped and caught fire, probably because the collision breached the left wing tank. One person in the airplane was killed, three in the SUV were injured. I'm not in the habit of second-guessing pilot decisions, and I'm not going to do that here either. You can look at what information we have and do that for yourself. But I do want to reiterate the survival aspects of emergency landings in water versus beaches and roads. I've done two longer videos on these topics, and I put the links down in the description. I have found that in instructing, pilots have a real fear of emergency ditching in the water. They worry about flipping over or the aircraft sinking before they can get out. But here are the critical numbers to remember. And these are based on studies I've done several times of ditching accident reports. Almost any way you cut it, ditching is a 90% thing. In other words, a 90% survival rate. And even that's a little misleading because these numbers reflect accidents that may have had just one fatality, but which in fact also had many other survivors. Also, ditching accidents that result in a fatality almost always show up in the NTSB database, but those without fatalities sometimes don't. These numbers on the top of the chart, by the way, represent the percentage of ditchings by water type. Most of these are inshore near beaches or inland waterways, similar to the situation in Miami. Blue water means offshore ditching, where the survival rate is usually lower. I've done this study about five times, and over the years, the numbers really haven't changed much. Some pilots I know worry about high-wing airplanes like the 172 or 182 flipping on contact with the water. It does happen. It's not common, and it doesn't really matter. High-wing airplanes are underrepresented in the overall ditching fatalities. It's a little trickier to compare ditching to road landings. We know about road landing fatalities for sure, but Many of the successful emergency landings on roads aren't reported. That's just the way it is. The data is skewed. So the Miami accident here may be typical of this sort of thing along a beach. According to the ADSB readout, the engine failure occurred at about 1,200 feet. So on a 172, that's a little over a minute to figure out where you're going to put it down and get set up. Here there were three choices. The road, in this case the bridge, the beach or the water off the beach or inside the inlet, which is the intercoastal waterway. I wasn't in the seat, so I don't know why the Skyhawk pilot went for the road and the bridge. To be fair, pilots survive landings on congested roads all the time. I cover that in the road landing video. So we're all naturally fearful of ditching because, well, you can't really practice it, right? So you're biased towards dry land, understandable. But once the engine quits, you're just trying to survive the next few minutes. This is the kind of decision making where it doesn't necessarily make sense to sweat small details like whether you use full flaps or land with the gear up or down. Think about the big picture. You want the highest percentage choice that requires the least skill. If water is available, just remember, it's the 90% choice. If something better is available, by all means, go for that. Otherwise, don't be afraid of getting wet. It could save your life. For AvWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli. Thanks for watching.